Virgo, what's happening? It is time to go ahead and knock out your bonus reading for the month of October 2020. Um, bonus readings I do to try to pick up on details that I missed in the main monthly. You never really know what's going to come through, but anyway, uh, if you'd like information on scheduling a personal reading, that is in the description of the video. Also, all month long, I will be shouting out my mom's Facebook page is in the description of the video. She has taken a massive leap of faith into self-employment, which I am 100% supportive of. And I would greatly appreciate it if you show her Facebook page some love too. Uh, so anyway, that's all in the description of the video, along with everything you need to know. I'm going to go ahead and get into the reading now though. Enough babbling. What other important messages can we tell my Virgos universe? What other important messages? Anything I may have left out? Anything new come up? Anything, just whatever. What other important messages do we have for Virgo for the month of October 2020? Oh, that one yelled at me there. Mm, King of Wands, okay. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, possibly. Doesn't really have to be. This feels more like your energy. This definitely feels more like your energy. A very take charge type of energy, but um, that feels more to me like holding your composure when things are going really rough on the inside. That's, that's what this feels more like to me. That a lot of you may be going through some things on the inside, maybe worried and upset about some things, especially if you're dealing with a, a bad romantic situation, but nobody knows about it, do they? Not really. You're doing a pretty good job at uh, holding your composure, all right? Let's get five shuffles here. One, two, Three more. Emperor reversed. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. I also have Taurus here. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I see here, this looks to me, I'm going to just tell you straight off the bat. We're going to break it apart and dissect it here in just a minute. But what I see is somebody from your past trying to come back around and you shutting them straight down. That's what I'm seeing. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. Eight of Cups reversed on the person you're dealing with side here. Uh, page of Cups reversed. Like, no, no, I see, I see here. Now, how is this going to happen? I don't know. The doorway, it's like, with this four of wands in the reverse right here, this is pretty much you slamming the door in their face. I mean, it's universe doing it. You know, you could easily try to kick that door back open if you wanted to. But um, for some of you, with this wheel of fortune right here, this was a cycle that probably repeated itself more than once. Okay? More than likely repeated itself more than once. Not for all of you, but when I see that that cycle, obviously I think it's a karmic cycle too. Um, either way though, it's finally complete now. And I know there's at least one Virgo watching this that uh, this cycle repeated itself. And then what do we do? What do we do? We try it again. But the problem is, is that whenever we attempt to reconcile, the funny thing that we do is we keep trying the same thing and expecting a different result. So the cycle repeats itself. And some people, I mean, heartbreakingly, I have sat back and watched people spend years and years and years of their life repeating the same cycle over and over and over and over and over with, with the same person on and off and on and off and on and off. Whenever somebody comes to me for a reading and they say, me and said person have been on and off. That's a huge red flag. Really, that's all I need to know. That little phrase, on and off. So, I have never personally seen on and off become successfully on. Never successfully. No, not really. Uh, so anyway, long story short, I do feel like you are standing very, very firm in your decision that uh, it's a done dollar, done dollar. Okay, some of you could have been dealing with a control freak, okay? I think there was a lot of control issues. There was a battle of egos between the two of you. Emperor reverse, king of wands, king of pentacles, okay? I have Taurus again. The two signs specifically that I have are Aries and Taurus. Could be anybody though. But uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't really think the person you were dealing with was really, really ready to let go. They weren't really ready to let go. Not really, but they are now. They're left with no choice. They're left with no choice, okay? You slam the door in their face, and if especially those of you who are dealing with a situation in which uh, you repeated the cycle a couple of times. They probably expected you to do it again. Oh, okay. Well, Virgo, Virgo, all they got to do, they just got to go and, and, and get over it. And then I'll come back around and I'll slither back in and work my magic and bam, be right back in there. You know, we will be like peas and carrots again. And this time though, no, no. Hail to the knob, nah, slam the door shut in their face. You're getting over this. I think you've, you've been getting over this. Like, you know, now, though, we got to look at the person you're dealing with. We are going to look at past person first. Those of you not dealing with or interested in a past person, this is not for you. Hold your horses. We will look into new energy here in just a minute. Okay, but right now, let's look a little bit deeper into this past person. Okay, How they see you, how they feel, what their intentions are, what actions they're going to take. All that good stuff is what I'm looking for here. What potential there is. Ooh, the devil card's already showing its face. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Hmm, six of swords, okay. Six shuffles. This is a rough transition for them. One, very rough transition. Two, three. Three more. Two of cups reversed. Okay. Yep. Look, let's see here. They're going to attempt to reconcile one last time. That tower was upright in the last one. Death card, though. Yeah, this is pretty much repeating the exact same thing that I just saw. I don't really think there was any uh, hidden motives. Um, I think it was pretty transparent here. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. This is all them. Okay, so I don't think they feel like the cycle is complete. Okay, but they can feel that way all they want. That has nothing to do with you. As long as you in here energetically have completed the cycle, that's all that really matters. That's all that really matters. Okay, but they don't really feel like the cycle is complete. They still definitely feel like there's unfinished business. Um, it's one of those types of things where it's like, the plant died, but I really, really, really wanted that plant. You know, I'm not over it yet. But it's dead. I see that it's dead. There's nothing I can do. I can water it and everything. It won't. It won't come back alive. So they're they're letting it die, but they it's unfinished. It's unfinished. Okay, they're left with no choice but to drop this. And this is not a very easy transition for this person. Okay. Um. Yeah, I kind of think that uh, now now that you've separated. The funny thing is, is it's, you know, that, that energy where I don't realize what I had until it's gone, you know? Um, well now I kind of, I kind of think that maybe they're trying to go out and maybe date around or they're thinking about seeing other people and talking to it, but like they can't, it's just like nothing. I don't want to say nothing compares to you, but really it's just like nothing. I hate, I hate to phrase it that way. Nothing compares to you though. Like it really doesn't. It's like, you know, I, I date around all these people, or I want to. I'm interested in all these people, but I can't find anybody that could take your place in my mind. Hmm. That's interesting. That's very interesting. But yeah, uh, pretty much left with no choice but to move on from this, but it's not an easy transition for them. Okay? They're not having a good time, bro. Not really. That sucks. Well... Hopefully, uh, this looks a little bit more positive. Let's look at the new person. New person Virgo is dealing with. If you are not dealing with or interested in a new person, this is not for you. Okay. New person Virgo is dealing with. Okay. 
All right, so this person's really, really big on not wanting to deal with any drama, like not wanting to deal with any immature games. Um, like like you know, those of you who like watch every reading that I put up, you've seen that 99% that of the time the past comes up when the new person, we talk about the new person. Okay, so I, I don't really wanna call this past energy, but this right here is, is has evolved from the past, okay? I think this person's been with uh, lots of immature people. They've been, you know, with lots of drama and lots of game plan and lots of people that just don't really take relationships and whatnot seriously. And again, like I always say, not to downplay anything anybody's experienced, but haven't we all? I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Haven't we all? So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, though, uh, that's good, though. I do think that that's a very positive thing. I'm not, I'm not downplaying anything. Uh, they don't want any drama. They don't want any games. They don't want any immature bullshit. Okay. That was good. Let's get five shuffles here. One. Two. Three more. Five of wands overall here, ten of wands. Okay, six of cups reversed. Never mind, never mind. Okay, ace of wands, knight of swords, seven of wands, and the nine of wands reversed. Okay, so this, never mind. I, I retract when I said I, I didn't really. There's, there's the past energy. Okay, so this person is still carrying burdens from the past. Okay, and is a bit reluctant to open up. Okay. And especially those of you who are ladies dealing with a man. Um, I know that I'm reading for all different kinds of Virgos, and I'm not really saying that gender is important or anything like that, but it's typically with men we see this more often than we see it with women. Uh, you see women do this from time to time, but typically men are raised and programmed, raised and programmed to shut their emotions out. Okay, and have been for, for fucking decades and decades and decades and decades. And yes, we are working out of that, but I still see that, okay? And even if it's not a man that you're dealing with, that doesn't really matter. I still, again, I see that energy very strongly. This person is very reluctant to open up, okay? Because they have been hurt in the past. They have been hurt in the past. So automatic ego defense mechanism is guard up, guard up. I assume everybody is out to get me and out to attack me, okay? King of cups in the reverse. Could be a water sign or a fire sign. Um, but I do think this person has a very, very strong independent streak about them. I think that they're very, like, really, really hardcore on I don't need anybody, nine of pentacles, right? But uh, there's still a little bit of emotional emptiness here, okay? A little bit of emotional fear. There's some emotional trauma in here. This person may not need anybody, you know, as far as... Uh, doesn't need to depend on anybody financially or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like this person probably has their own car, has their own house, works their own job, feeds themselves, bathes themselves, clothes themselves, and all that good stuff. Nine of Pentacles, right? But uh, King of Cups reversed, five of wands overall here. I do think that, um, here's the good news though. Here's the good news. I think because the Nine of Wands is reversed right after the Seven of Wands next to the Magician right here. Um, every now and then, and, and, and this is a, a conundrum that I'm still trying to figure out myself personally, that uh, sometimes it does have to resort to, bow, a pop off in, in an argument. And then, oh, I see now, now let's fix this, you know? Um, so I don't really think, I do see potential here. I see potential here, but I do think those of you are dealing with a situation in which in order to fix things, it's going to have to go there a few times, you know? Um, again, that's risky. That's dangerous. <laughs> it can easily turn into a toxic cycle. Okay. But I don't really see that here because the nine of wands is reversed. Okay. Because it's reversed. So yeah, it's probably, you're probably going to have to have a few confrontations with this person before you really, before the, the issues really get brought to the table and we really start working on some things. You know what I mean? That make any sense? But I do think I see potential here, okay? I see potential here. So, that's good, that's good. 
Off to a rocky start, but it's good. It happens. It's all good. It's all how you get through that rockiness. That's that's what really, really makes or breaks it. Okay? It's all how you make it through that, that rough shit. All right. Let's look at the outcomes. Resting in the current moment. Outcomes. Resting in the current moment, which are always subject to change. There will be an overall advice for all Virgos, followed by the outcome with the past person and the outcome with the new person. <laughs> last shuffle, last one. Oh, oh, devil card just showed its face. Let's see if it comes back out. If it was meant to be in the reading, oh, you trust it will be in the reading. <laughs> All right. Boom. All right. So overall advice, don't sit. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Anyway, overall advice, Knight of Wands. Okay. Don't waste too much time trying to think and analyze and figure shit out with your little analytical Virgo thinking brain. Okay. I understand how it works. I get it, but there's only so many variables you can take into account, especially if you are on a new path, okay? Especially if you're on a new path, uncharted territory, there's only so many variables you can take into account, okay? Other than that, all you're doing is redundantly spinning your brain around in a meaningless, monotonous circle after a while, okay? And I know that Virgos are very, very, very prone to falling into that trap and sliding down that slope. You just don't, okay? And just think over a couple times and take action, okay? It's time to get up and move. It's time to bust some moves, okay? Don't don't sit around and think yourself to death, <laughs> all right? Outcome with the past person. Um, I really think that you are to the point now where uh, you are so emotionally detached from this person that uh, uh, you just don't really care anymore. I really don't think that you are, but I think they do. They, they, they do care. They are obsessed very very obsessed still i see them going off i don't really see the two of you coming together i see them going off probably and finding love elsewhere but they're still very 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 they're using it for all the wrong things okay this person could be going out and just hooking up for sex-based connections to try to get over you but i still think that they're very 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 obsessed okay i don't think they've let go of this yet i don't think they've let go of this yet okay uh, but I think that you have. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. That's all that really matters is that you have, okay? And at the end of the day, I'm not saying that there aren't people who can't like really fuck with you. But I'm going to tell you what. When you get to the point to where you are so ice cold, numb, you really don't care. They don't have any power. They can't really fuck with you. They really can't. They really can't. It doesn't matter. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter what rumors they try to spread about you, none of that matters. You and what power you feed it is the only thing that matters. And I think it's finally to the point now where you just give so little of a shit that it's going to have very little to no effect on you whatsoever. Okay, so that's good. Okay, the outcome with the new person here, I, don't, I do see it going there a few times. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit rocky. It's going to be a little bit rocky. You all have some, some obstacles to climb with each other. Um, but I don't see, I think that it will be successful. Like I said, it's weird that, that uh, sometimes it does actually have to go there, you know, and it, it, in order sometimes for a problem to get brought to the table and actually start working on it, well, it's got to go there. And I do think it will. Okay. I do think that it will, but I don't see you all, you all separating. I don't. Okay. I do think that you all will continue to work on and build and um you know until somebody decides to back out but uh, i don't see that happening right now it's just gonna be a rocky start and like i said okay herky derky now it's time for the meat and taters of the entire reading things to watch out for and advice moving forward i don't care who you are i don't care why you're watching this video okay you can take something from this spread. This is for everybody. 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 I don't care if you're a Virgo. I don't care if you're a Libra. 
I don't care if you're a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius. I don't care if you're white, black, purple, green, gay, straight, or whatever else there is out there. I don't really care. If you are watching this video, you can take something from this spread, okay? Things to watch out for and advice moving forward, okay? Do, 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 Mm, okay, high priestess in the reverse. All right, it's very important that you learn how important it is to find that line between thinking and your intuition, okay? It's a very fine line. And that is one of an earth sign's biggest challenges is allowing that thinking and figuring out and analyzing and trying to figure out how, when, where, why, why this happened, how's that gonna happen, how's this gonna happen, how's it gonna work, and this, that, and the third. To shut that off, shut that off. That's, that's what you need to do. You need to distinguish the difference between your ego and your intuition, okay? Don't tell them, I'm not saying get rid of your ego, okay? When people in the spiritual community say that, I just won't smack them, it's stupid. You know, you're not getting rid of your ego, okay? You are learning how to get your ego and your intuition to work together as a team, okay? You're transcending your ego, okay? That's what you're doing, you're not getting rid of it. That's stupid, okay? The only way to do that is to die, basically. You're not getting rid of your ego. You're transcending it into something different, okay? So, let's get four shuffles here. One. Two. Three. And four. So again, like I said, watch out for people who won't who won't take that first step forward. Okay, I get it, I get it. We all want it to feel right. I'll do this when this thing happens, right? I got this goal in mind, and I'll start working that goal once it feels right. I'll take that step once it feels right. You're going to eventually you're going to end up standing in the same spot waiting your entire life. Okay. Watch out for that. I don't care if you know this person or you are this person. Okay, watch out for that lack of movement. Eventually, I'm not saying don't see if you can wait until the time's right, but time's ticking away. At some point, you're going to have to make a decision. Okay, I don't care if it feels right or not. I'm going to leap. I'm going to leap. Will you fall and crack your head? Maybe. But as long as you understand there is no such thing as failure. There are only learning experiences. The only people who fail are the people who turn around and abandon the path. All right? Focus on your money and your finances, Virgo. No, not Virgo. Never. Oh, yeah. Focus on your, your money and your finances. Take accountability for your own emotional state. Okay? This is a tough one. But this right here is like going to the spiritual gym and doing spiritual push-ups. This is a tough one. Let's say this thing keeps happening every single day. Every day this thing happens that pisses you off, okay? And you try and, and work and reason and fight and argue and this and everything you possibly can. And this thing will not stop happening. At the end of the day, we need to stop and say, okay, hold up, hold up. What if it were possible for that thing to happen and not piss me off? Because I see Billy Bob down the street here experience that thing. I've seen Billy Bob go through the same thing I'm going through, and Billy Bob doesn't seem to give a shit. I've seen Karen across the street there. What's the difference between me, Billy Bob, and Karen? It pisses me off, and I hate it. But the biggest difference is I can't do anything about it. So is the problem the problem, or is my reaction to the problem the problem? What if it were possible? for that thing to happen and not bother me. Take accountability for your own emotional state. I'm not saying things don't happen. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying at the end of the day, what can I do about it? Have you tried doing anything about it? Is it working? If not, maybe we need to take a different approach. Maybe I need to look at my own emotional responses and say, okay, well, maybe it's me. Okay, again, that's tough. That's a tough one. Boy, I'm gonna tell you what, but it's, 
Those are spiritual push-ups, dude. I'm telling you. All right. Um, stay away from drama, okay? And I know that's one of those things that everybody says they do. But from what I've witnessed and what I've experienced, out of every 10 people who say they hate drama, fucking seven or eight of them, as soon as there's some drama, they're all over it like a fly on a piece of shit. Like, dude, you just said you hated drama. Why are you partaking in the gossiping and in the rumors and in that? That's stupid, dude. That's not, that is, those of you who are, who are looking for a path to success, that is never going to get you there. Okay? Drama, fucking gossiping about he said, she said, this, that, and, and rumors and stuff like that, and drama, and, and that is never, ever, ever going to lead you towards success. Ever. Ever. That is done with a failure's mentality. Okay, let the failures do what they do with their little failure mentality, okay, and let them swim around in the pool of doo-doo that they've created for themselves. You got mountains to climb, okay? Stay away from that, okay? Stay away from it, turn the news off, turn to unfriend them on Facebook, block them on Instagram, whatever you gotta do, whatever you gotta do to pull your focus away from things that piss you off, okay? That's a big thing. That right there is the war in today's day and age, okay? That's the war. Those of you who have strong enough mental capacities to pull your focus away from things that are designed to suck you in and piss you off and drain your vibration, do you have the psychological and the emotional bandwidth to say, no, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm not paying attention to that. Oh, that thing that that person on Facebook keeps posting all this dramatic, stupid shit that pisses me off. Okay, unfriend, block. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to have anything to do. You know what I mean? Come on now, stay away from drama. Put drama away from your awareness, okay? I don't care what it is, anything political or whatever, okay? If it pisses you off and it drains your vibration, take your focus away from it. That is never going to help you. All that's gonna do is hold you back. All that is ever going to do is hold you back, okay? On that note, I feel like the messages my Virgos needed to hear have come through. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. I greatly appreciate everybody that tuned in and played along. Uh, remember to look in the description of the video for information on scheduling personal readings. Um, that includes one-on-one -on -one video calls, uh, pre-recorded personal readings, law of attraction advice and guidance. Dude, it's all down in the description. You gotta take a look down there. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here though. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. All right, y'all have a good one.